gonna be honest, could not be bothered to wake up at 6 in the morning for whatever's going on with Poltergeist, even though we had the announcement the day before. So yeah, this also looks really similar to what they did with Houndstone, where they did like, oh, we got a little bit of an animation, and then the full-on trailer reveal. This time we have a four-minute long story of some Generation 9 garbage, and then the spooky reveal. So I don't know how this became so relevant, but fine. Let's let's watch the haunting tale of Poltergeist and see what's going on with Poltergeist. Nah. Is there something interesting enough here to be redeemable? Oh. Alright, this goes back to Gen 7 when they did, like, a real thing. I wonder how the copyright is on something like this. Because it's kind of mixed. Like, for the first year, you can do it. On the copyright. Welcome, like, children. even a couple Tonight, of years, they'll give it to you. We gather as the shadows fall. To bring you an exciting, astonishing show. This Re really just quick pause because like people don't like, like just watch a video. One, I can't. I I don't copyright theft or I avoid it as much as possible. And you have to add commentary to it. We're not XQC over here. And also because um I, like I don't want to talk over them directly while I'm trying to like give the history. So yeah, like the weird thing is like then some weird thing like Pokemon Philippines YouTube channel will re-uploaded or reposted or just like do like a broad copyright sweep and then that strikes everyone's videos from the original trailers like you can't react to pokemon sun and moon trailers anymore or else you get like some weird fla flag from like pokemon singapore it it's kind of weird so i don't know how this holds up is a mysterious and haunting tale about a pokemon yeah pokemon ghost story because it's so Once relevant upon a time there was a tea master who dedicated his life to perfecting the art of the tea ceremony. And his pursuit okay. of perfection bordered on obsession. Do not lift the tea bowl so high. Do not step over the utensils. Do not speak while handling the utensils. What are you doing? Strictness soured his reputation. Eventually, not a soul would suffer his company. That's and sad. without guests to entertain, his pursuits were meaningless. Regret is a bitter sin. All right, I thought this As could be like an angry haunting. Said this, he fainted from exhaustion. This is a sad haunting. His short temper proved to be his undoing, a truth he never realized. I mean, he didn't faint from exhaustion. He had a heart attack, anger, and sadness. The master's tea caddy passed from owner to owner until finally after many years of neglect the tea caddy started moving on its own and suddenly transformed uh. the caddy then flew out of its storehouse after some looking around it noticed an ill-mannered woman and approached her as the caddy sprinkled her with matcha for some reason she sensed its presence and waved it away, breaking a teacup in the process. Oh, no. Let me tell you, that really teed it off. Its temper rivaled the old tea masters. Later that night, the woman noticed her skin now possessed a peculiar glow. But the glow was short-lived, for trouble was brewing. The matcha oh. steeped in her life force sapped some of her strength as it returned to the caddy. How terrifying! Then it began sealing up cracks with its matcha, starting with the broken phone, then a power outlet. Why is some it this time? Even Tinkerton's hammer! The tea caddy in this story is, in fact, the grass and ghost type Pokemon, Poltergeist. Grass, ghost, Poltergeist. People say the tea master's regret still dwells in this caddy. Why can't we get like Should this much? Should you ever meet it, a proper greeting may save you from a bitter fate. Why can't we get this much lore about like an interesting Pokemon? Nice tea, Micha. <clears throat> right then. Now in the land of Kitakami, parents tell their kids if you waste your food. Poltergeist will sprinkle you with matcha. Even flavoring things with matcha is forbidden there. 
Huh? Wasn't this chipped? Oh, wait. It's been sealed? Oh, no. My skin is glowing. Just fine. Um... What is this, dude? That's like my entire reaction, like all the Gen I've been like. A again, just trying to go for theming over anything else. To the point that it just does doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's watch the trailer now. Uh where we can actually see gameplay of the spooky T Pokemon. Um, I still don't know why we didn't get Rotom after what- Like, after that Simek, like, yo, that- that's more interesting if it's Rotom. Not this. I- my problem with the Generation 9 designs is that it, like, goes so hard on the idea that it kind of just ruins the overall impact or design or everything about the Pokemon. The design isn't terrible, which is kind of weird, where it's like, I'm- I'm reversed. I'm like, okay, this thing just doesn't need to exist, though. And there's way better ideas that could have happened instead. Or maybe I'm just so numb to Generation 9, like- that isn't a bad design, but it also falls into not being a Pokemon to me. Again, like, so maybe it is just a bad Pokemon. Also, Poltergeist, Grass Ghost, not a Rotom, kind of weird. Doing Poltergeist things, even though it feels more sinister with how small it is, I guess. But Poltergeist is actually kind of small as well. And then interacting with Sinistee. So I don't know, is this actually, like, regional evolution? Or is it convergent species? Pokemon community is weird. I saw, like, everyone, like, I saw every leak. I saw every leak being, like, it's convergent species. It's an R fake. Nah, it's an evolution pull to guys. Nah, it's a full evolutionary line. I guess we have to go to the website to see if there's any extra details. All right. Is, does it actually get its own Pokemon page of detail, or is it just going to be, like, not much is known? It may resemble Sinistee at a glance, but Poltergeist is actually an entirely different species of Pokemon. Why put Sinistee in, then? Also, now, now, there's no way it's, like, now this is pushing the RFA convergent species thing to just, like, stupidity. Here's where you can see all the failings of Gen 9, once again in the designs, if the long-necked Raikou didn't do it for you. Like, now Game Freak, like, Game Freak's getting too cute. It was about the subversion and being different and not doing what fans expected, like we saw from previous interviews, and that's why we don't have a gray version. See, that's the true ghost story here. Is what's go what Game Freak is up to. Subversion. Uh, spooky. Like, th then why? Why have it be, like, exactly the same to this degree and not have, like, a regional thing? Also, what do you mean? Why like, why is it called Poltergeist if it resembles Sinistee? So it's, like, pre-evolution, but not. It has a post-evolution name because Convergent Species. Oh, new ability, Hospitality. Um... I don't have the screen. Wait, can it fit? Give me a second. Close enough. Poltergeist ability, hospitality, introduced in DLC. Pokemon with this ability enters a battle. It showers its ally with hospitality, restoring a small amount of allies' hit points. Ah, a doubles only ability. This, those are doing so great. And make Pokemon so viable. Um, Only hospitality at this time. Grass Ghost. Well, I guess at least we didn't get the... We, more, we, not much is known about this Pokemon. More details, whatever. Um, though ecologically similar to Sinistee, it's completely different Pokemon. Yay. Uh, Poltergeist is a swirl pattern. See, that's like, it's so similar. Like, this is just regional variant. Like, the R fake don't even make sense because regional variants already have it, like, mega covered. But since they only introduced two and they couldn't even fill that out, they have to cram in another one, and now it just doesn't make any sense. Um... Yeah, that's known to be Sinistee's weak point. However, one thing that sets it easy apart is Poltergeist's Swirl is not a weak point. Okay. I don't think the lore matters that much. After the target is sprinkled with Poltergeist powder, body or eats food, dusted with it, drains their energy, uh, old houses, cracked or broken things, it repairs. Why did that get like a weird four minute animation where like so many more Pokemon deserve like cool story development or have a cool story that doesn't need a four minute trailer you can just kind of piece that lore together yourself or through pokedex entries um 
what else is there to say? It's a very tiny, and maybe there's an evolution that matters? I don't know.